Hi friends! Welcome back to the channel! Yeah, it's been a while. I haven't been on in a while. Yeah, but I'm going to try to get better at this. I probably said that the last video I was in too. So we are going to change up the YouTube channel. I was doing a lot of tutorials and, um, you know, crafty things, learning how to make stuff and sublimation and what else did we do? Um, embroidery. We did a lot of that kind of stuff. So we are going to change it up. We're going to do, we're still going to do some of that stuff because I know people like the tutorials. People like to see what you're making, that kind of stuff. But we're also going to change this up to like a day in life so that we get to do all kinds of things because we got a lot. We got a lot going on all the time. What is this hair of mine? Anyway, um, so I have a Timu haul today. We're going to do some hauls in, in the new channel. Um, we're going to do just a day in a life. We're going to do some makeup tutorials for um, mature women, women, however you want to say it. Um, things that products I've tried, products that I feel work, products that don't work, you know, we'll go through those too. Um, yeah, so I did, I have purchased from Timu in the past. I have purchased clothing one time I bought, um, I have two new grandchildren, um, that were born recently and I purchased a couple of uh, outfits from Timu just to see what the quality was, you know, and what have you. The quality of the product was great. Um, I can't say anything bad about the quality, but when I opened up the package, they were in these plastic, um, I don't know what you call them, like, like plastic things like this, but obviously bigger and they were clear. And when I opened them up, they felt damp which I thought was kind of weird, but I chucked it up to, um, you know, maybe when they're going through customs, it was either raining out or damp outside. And then when they put everything back in, um, it just was a little damp and that's how it stayed. Timu, as you guys probably already know, is just an online marketplace that has like thousands and thousands of vendors and you can buy things pretty cheap off of Timu. Um, the things that I have purchased from them already Nothing has been bad. Everything has actually been pretty good. Um, I did, I have a Timo haul, but I want to show you guys a couple things that I have purchased in the past. Like I said, I, I purchased a few things for my grandkids. But I purchased this ring sizer. And this thing is very, very accurate. I actually bought this ring according to the size for which finger I wanted it on. It just says, Mom, I don't know if you could see that, or whatever. Um, and it fits perfect. Now, does it work for your, <coughs> excuse me, for your jewelry at the jewelry stores and stuff? I don't know yet. I haven't tried it, but I'm going to. So I'll let you know how that, that comes out. Um, I've also purchased some electronic products. I actually purchased a toothbrush from them and it's got all these different, um, let's see if I can show it to you got all these different settings you might not be able to see it but there's a lot of them um, it's pretty heavy duty the, the um, head of this is very soft it came with like three or four heads and it works just as good as my sonic so just so you know um, it charges the way it charges you just open up the bottom and it charges, you can either charge it on, you know, you could probably charge it on your computer while you're doing your YouTube video. And it comes with just a regular USB and whatever you call this, charger. So, works real well. I also purchased from them a um, water pick. This is really cool too. It has three speeds, high, normal, and pulse. And... It works great. I, the, the, the attachment I have at the top is one you can actually fit right inside your gums and just swoosh the water in there. This thing works fantastic. I just fill it up, use the whole thing. It's great. I, I absolutely love it. And again, this one just charges in the back. It's got a little bit different of a charger. It's just got a pointed 
um, plug on it or whatever you want to call that. And I also purchased some nails, press on nails. I purchased these and these. I am not a fan. Um, I use ones that I have purchased from Walgreens Olive and June, I believe they're called, and they are way better. They stay on. I mean, these, these actually stay on, but look at how terrible they look. They're just like not rounded where they should be here. They're, they just don't, yeah, they're just, they're, they're not good, but they are good for some people. Maybe I just put them on wrong. <laughs> I don't even know because I don't usually use, you know, I, uh, the only ones I've used are the Olive and June and they're super easy. They actually conform to your nails. Perfect. So I, I, I guess I have nothing else to, um, compare it to. So it is what it is. I'm not really a big nail person. I do, um, I do get my nails done. Like if I'm going to a wedding or a party or something special, but other than that, I really don't. I mean, I work in an industry where it's, you know, I don't need my nails done. Let's just say, um, yeah. So, and then I did purchase these earrings. These are little ghosts. They are super sturdy. They were probably 98 cents. I'm not going to put in the pricing of all these things because I don't, uh, I'm not going to go back and try to see how much everything costs. Um, you can just go on Timu, search whatever you're looking for. If you're looking for ghost earrings, just type in ghost earrings and they'll pop up. Um, the one thing I have not had an issue with is the metal. Um, a lot of times I have very sensitive ears and the metal does irritate my skin sometimes but I haven't had any problems with any of the earrings I've bought a couple pair now from Timu and no issues so no issues with the jewelry um, I only purchased the silver so I don't know about the gold I did purchase I think um some gold ear earring posted something I think they're in the hall I'm going to do now but yeah so I mean I know they have a whole bunch of different ones thumbnail um but not a fan. So maybe I'll try a different a different set. Um, I don't know. You know, I'm not gonna say 100% I'm out of that. But oh, my! These are some extra things that came with the um, the water pick. I' not sure what the spoon is for. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If you know what it is, let me know. This looks like it's like orthodontic, where it would go through your braces and stuff. And then there's some kind of little cleaner thing. I, I don't know. It looks like something you'd use in your sewing machine. But I'm sure it may have come with a few other things, but I bought it a while ago. And I, you know, I don't know. So we'll see. So on with the haul. I did actually recorded this video already and there was a problem with it. So go figure. It's me. Um, so everything's already out of the packages. So we're just going to go through it. I'll show it to you guys. I do have another Timu haul coming that's um, mostly Christmas stuff. This is mostly fall because I do like to kind of decorate a little bit for fall. But then I'll get, you know, into the Christmas stuff. And if you guys notice, I have my Be Kind and Make Good Choices sweatshirt on that I purchased from one of my um, favorite YouTubers who has recently passed away, Sarah from Pog Family. She's been battling cancer well, she was battling cancer for many years, and it finally, it finally got her. Um, so they were, they have like a shop where you can go and help support the family by purchasing their merch. And, you know, I'm all about helping, you know, people out. And, yeah, so I'm wearing this today. I wear it every once in a while because it's just a reminder, you know, be kind, you know, make good choices, and... Just live life to its fullest because you do not know if you have tomorrow. Anyway, so let's get on with this Timu haul. First thing I got is this Gnome Santa, uh, Santa, I guess, Gnome Christmas guy. He's really cute and I discovered while I was checking him out that he actually must light up. So maybe he sings, I don't know, but he lights up, I think. So I'm going to put the batteries in him later and then I will definitely in my next video show you guys what he looks like all lit up but he's super cute he's very like well put together so he's not like you know there's no broken pieces and parts on him he's very very cute and then I also bought this goes on your um above your door you know how you have the door 
jam, whatever you call that, like the molding around the door. And it'd be a good idea if I turn this around. These go together and they're like a little puzzle. So you just put them together like so. And they hang on the door right over the, the door jam. Pretend I'm the door jam. Anyway, so I thought those were super cute. Pretty sturdy, you know, not, I mean, you know, could I have made these with my Cricut? Probably, but I mean, it's, was it worth, it's probably a couple bucks. I don't even think I spent that much on that. So we'll go with that. And then I also bought a couple of welcome signs. I bought a small one, again, with the gnomes. I love gnomes. And he, this one comes with the string that you can attach at the top here and hang this up somewhere. And then I also bought a big one. Uh, this one, I've got this one, but this one came in broken. Go figure. So here's this one. And you can see up here, it's missing a piece. But I have the piece, and it looks like it'll be, because of my crafty craftness, because I'm pretty crafty, and I have the material, I'm going to go ahead and fix that and I'll still be able to use it. And I like it because it's, it's, you know, bigger, so I can put that on the door, you know, maybe the front door or whatever. Um, all the fun stuff. And then, oh, no. Excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I bought... Some of these earrings, there's, they are um, little skeletons, but you put the earring in and then they kind of hang down your ear. So they're super cute. I mean, Halloween's over, so I won't be probably using these for a little while. And hopefully I didn't lose the... Nope, there it is. Um, but those are really cute, so I'll be probably... Well, I probably could still do them now. It's just fall, right? I mean, I think they'll be fine. And then I purchased, I don't think I purchased, I purchased these earrings. These are the ones I was telling you guys. I did get some gold. See, they're gold. Um, hopefully they won't bother my ears either. But these are the autism puzzle piece earrings. And we do support autism here. I have um, two grandchildren that are on the spectrum. So we do as much as we can to support autism. And I bought a second pair for my daughter-in-law, so I know she'll really like these. I was was thinking about maybe getting be, giving them to her for Christmas, but I think I'm just going to give them to her because she works so hard with her babies, you know? So I think I'm going to give them to her. And then I purchased another pair. Sorry if I'm going too fast. And I know some of you are going to be upset because I didn't put the prices in, but I'm not going back to look all this up. I'm starting to see a little light in there. I also got these earrings. Super cute, right? I mean, they're, they are, yeah, they're cute. They were probably 98 cents. I don't think I paid more than that for any of my earrings. I think they were all pretty inexpensive. I also got a pair, uh, I'm a little ahead on this. This is not till March, but are these not the cutest? for St. Patrick's Day. I think these are just so cute. And they are, they're kind of big, but they're really going to be fun, right? I think they'll be fun for St. Patrick's Day. So we'll do that. And then I also got some more Halloween earrings. These are also, I noticed these are gold plated up. You know, hopefully they won't bother my ears but I thought these were kind of cute and again I know Halloween's over but I don't know pumpkins are pretty much for fall so who knows or I'll, I'll just put them away and I'll use them again next year and then I bought some I bought a runner I like having runners on my kitchen table I have a big six foot by six foot I think it is table it's a high top table um and I always have a runner on there with placemats and I like to change them out during the seasons or whatever so for fall because it is still fall I found this one and again it's got a little gnome I just love the gnomes isn't he cute and so I'm going to put him on the table 
And then I, I do actually have another uh, Timu order coming, and I've got Christmas ones. So it'll be interesting to see what the Christmas ones look like. I'm, I'm excited about it because this really is really cute. I'm planning on putting up this fall decor today so that, you know, in three or four weeks, three weeks, whatever it is, I can start putting my Christmas stuff up. I know a lot of people start putting their Christmas stuff up now, but I'm still, you know, I still like doing it the day after Thanksgiving. It's just me. It doesn't mean anybody else is wrong or whatever. Um, it's just how I do it. I mean, I love Christmas. I love the decorations. I hate taking them down. I do leave mine probably up a little longer. You know, maybe not like the first. I don't take them down the first. I usually leave them up another week or so just because, you know, I enjoy, I enjoy having them. But I, I don't want to take away from the fall stuff either. You know, Halloween and fall. I'm not a Halloween you know, I really don't like Halloween. I mean, it's fun for the kids, but I'm not into that scary stuff. Yeah, it's not me. So um, I just do fall. So we've got the fall decorations and stuff up. And then I bought some placemats to go with that, which again are gnomes. Aren't they cute? And this was a set of four, and I think it was like five bucks. So not very expensive. They are, they're made out of like um, a very lightweight um, canvas and same with the runner it's kind of a lightweight but it's not it's not like super thin you know it's it's kind of a it is a little bit thicker so it'll be nice it'll it'll last probably a few years you know I don't know I'm gonna wash it first and see how it washes I mean I could really be not it could not work well but we'll see I'll let you know how that works out <laughs> um, but it came with a set of four which is perfect but then I ordered some Christmas ones just because I saw them in the same area when I was looking and I ordered it and I thought I was getting four, but I only got one, just one. Why would you put one in a package? Come on, Timu, one. Most people have a set of four. Um, I have to go back and look at the order. Maybe, I'm just going to say, so maybe I shouldn't be like, Dis disrespecting Timu before I know, but maybe they just didn't put all four of them in the um, in the package. I don't know, but I got one. But it is cute. So in my next, I'm I've got another order. Like I said, Christmas order. Um, I'll be finishing that one up this week, and then hopefully I'll be able to find these again, and I can get three more. Um, I don't know, but I'll have to look. I mean, my my total orders are not more than. You know 30 bucks 40 bucks so I mean I know it wasn't expensive but neither was the one with the four in it so I don't really know but that's that's my small Timu haul and I liked everything like I said just one little broken plaque but it'll, it's fixable and I'm sure that happens you know in customs I, I don't know but I'm pretty sure that's probably where the stuff gets broke because I'm pretty sure they're not going to put broken stuff into your order. But eh, who knows? I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the only thing, like I said, I did not particularly care for were these nails. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like them? You know, I don't know. I'm not, I guess, maybe I'm not the best person to judge these because I'm not a press on nails um, person. But the, the glue, not glue, it's like they're little... Um, I don't have them here. They're little sticky things you put on your nail and then you peel the top off and then you stick the nail down. So like a sticky thing. Maybe if I would have used, I mean, they're, they're, they're staying on. So that's not the problem. I just feel like I have, you know, bigger nail beds, I guess. Mine are a little bit bigger than normal. Um, I don't know if normal or not, but, and maybe that's why they're not, maybe they're geared for people with smaller um, nail beds. I don't really know. Whatever. But they come off. And when I pull them off, they'll pop right off. So it's nice. Could I possibly go and do dishes or, you know, I don't know, do some crafting things with these nails on and not have them fall off? I don't know. I don't think so. But like I said, they're on here pretty good. So see what happens. But yeah, so that's the end of that. And um, I am, like I said, going to. Wow, one of these already broke. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that. How is that even possible? <sighs> okay, 
it just solidified. I, I although I'm a glutton for punishment, so I am definitely gonna try these just to see how these come out. If these are they look exactly the, well, they are the same brand as this one. So, but I'm gonna try another brand. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give Timo the benefit of the doubt, and I'm gonna try another brand and see how it works and see what happens. And then I am gonna, like I said, do some new videos. Um, oh, I got a new addition to my crafting family here. Is that what you call it, my crafting family? I don't know, but I got a new, I, I have something new. So I will put that in my next video. That'll be my next video. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Um, if I like it, give you an honest review on it and um, you know, see what you guys think of that too. So thank you guys for stopping by. It's always great, always fun. Um, if you're new here, Thank you, thank you, and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more crazy. Um, and if you hit the notification bell, obviously you'll get notified every time I upload a video. And I am definitely going to try to upload videos more than once every three or four months because this is kind of getting ridiculous if I do say so myself. <laughs> kind of, I, I don't know if it's just, I don't know. My biggest thing is uploading these videos, making the videos easy. For me, the hard part is uploading this video. I use iMovie. I'm not the most um, computer savvy person, so I YouTube everything. I am YouTube certified 100%, so I can do anything, but I just need to watch it. And that's, you know, I haven't done videos in a while, so I've kind of like lost, you know, how to do it. So, but I'll get it. I'll get it done, and then, yeah. And thank you to all my subscribers for stopping by once again to see one of my crazy videos. And I think that's all I got. Oh, um, I know I keep saying that and then I say, oh, but I also um, want to let you guys know that I, my business that I was doing, my embroidery business, I did shut down my Etsy shop because as you guys, most of you know, not a fan of um, Etsy and their new policies and they, you know, it, I'm not even going to get into it again. But I, but I am still doing um, custom orders for people who ask. And I still obviously do for my grandchildren and my kids. I have a lot of grandchildren. I have, I believe, 10 now. I think I'm in the double digits. So I get to make them a lot of stuff, a lot of personalized stuff. And they don't have to, you know, pay the big bucks to get that stuff. They, you know, they can ask me for whatever. And, um, yeah, so... I got that. So I did close that, but I am actually doing eBay now. I have gotten into eBay, which I actually really enjoy. I love, love looking for treasures. I I watch a couple of um, YouTubers that are eBayers, is that what you call it? And they're fun. They And they find some of the craziest stuff. So it's like, for me, it's like, you know what? I have so much stuff to get rid of why not sell it and make some money? You know, some of it I've given away, some of it, you know, but I've, I've actually sold quite a bit on eBay. I actually enjoy that. And like I said, I love going to find these treasures because <laughs> it is, it's fun. It is fun. So yeah. So if you guys don't do eBay, you should try it. It is, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a little bit of work. Actually, it's a lot of work, but it's, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. So enough of me rambling on and on. Um, I will definitely be uploading another video during the week. I'm probably going to try to do Saturday and like maybe Wednesday and maybe not right away because like I said, uploading these videos and iMovie, I'm not, I got to get back into it so I can remember how to do it. And you know, if you guys have any suggestions on a different way to do it or you know, I don't know. I don't use like a fancy pants camera or anything. I just use my MacBook. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by and I appreciate you guys. Have a nice day, evening, morning, wherever you may be. And as Sarah from Pog Family would say, be kind, make good choices. We miss you, Sarah. Bye-bye.